Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can record up to an hour long gameplay on the Xbox with a flash drive. This is a USB flash drive that I purchased from Walmart. This is a 32 gig 3.0 flash drive. As you can see, 3.0. It's a SanDisk Ultra USB. I got it for 10 bucks from Walmart and this is all you would need. So if you try to use any other drive that's not 3.0, it's gonna tell you that it's too slow. You're gonna get an error message that it's too slow. Also, if it's not formatted correctly, you're gonna get an error message telling you you need to format that's gonna let the Xbox recognize. As soon as you put it in the Xbox, it's gonna recognize it and you'll be able to start recording gameplay immediately. So let's format the drive. Hey guys, so for this part of the video, it is easier to just use a Windows PC. Now this computer is running probably Windows 7. It does, it's not even running the latest Windows software, but for a Mac, you won't be able to format the disc using a Mac unless you download some extra software. So for this one, we're just gonna just plug the drive into a Windows PC. And when it pops up here, um, this may pop up, but if it don't pop up, all you have to do is go to computer, right? And as you can see, the removable disc right here, the removable disc, you right click on that, format, all right? And for this, as you can see, I already have done it, but you want to format this to NTFS, all right? These are the options that you're gonna get on the Mac. You're only gonna get F, um, FAT32 or XFAT. These are the only options that you would get on the Mac and you have to download extra software in order to get the NTFS option. So once you have this option, just click start format. Now the good news is once you format the drive to this format, you still will be able to plug it into a Mac computer to transfer your files. But you won't be able to transfer anything from the Mac to the drive, but you can definitely transfer the videos from the drive to the Mac and put it in any editing software that you wanna use. So that's how you format the disc. Let's head over to the Xbox. All right, so here you see we are on the Xbox main screen. So what we wanna do is you wanna click the home button, scroll over till you get to capture and share. And down here, you wanna to go to capture settings here at the bottom, and then scroll over to here, capture location. Now, as you can see here, it's on internal, right? So it's on internal, but Now also too, you can plug this in in the back. It doesn't matter which USB port you use. So now, all right, as you can see now, the capture location has changed. We changed it to the same, the same disk ultra, right? Now you can, now you can capture up to one hour of gameplay. So for this example, let's, Let's put on Grand Theft Auto. As you can see, we're in GTA 5 right here, right? So what we wanna do is click the home button, stroll over to start recording. All right, recording has started, right? And we're just gonna record a little bit here and I'm gonna show you how quick you can transfer this file. We're gonna drive around for a couple seconds here. All right, now let's stop the recording. All right, we're gonna stop the recording. And that's it. And we're gonna take out the sand disk and plug it right into the computer. All right, so now for the end of the demonstration, I plugged it into a Mac just so I can demonstrate if you are a Mac user, what would happen. So I click on the actual drive here and when I plug it in, it shows up. And as you can see, here's the gameplay already saved right here, right? Now, when I drag this over to a desktop, it saves it. So I can click this and we can play it. All right, 
that's the gameplay. Just that quick, just that easy. But you won't be able to save anything to this drive from a Mac. So if I like take this from the desktop and try to put it back, it's not gonna go. So this will only let you, if you're using a Mac, this will only let you save the footage from the drive to your computer, which is all you would need if you just wanna edit and you're gonna use this drive strictly for your gameplay recording, but you won't be able to use the drive for anything else unless you reformat it to a different format that the Mac recognizes. But also too, as a reminder, the easiest way to format it is just to plug it up into a Windows PC. That way you'll be able to use the correct format to format this. Um, other than that, if you don't have anything other than a Mac, you would have to download some extra software in order for it to be able to use that option. Because here you see, you're going to need, you're going to need to be able to download or format the disk drive to this format. If you can't format it to this format, this file system, the so NTFS format, you're going to need to use a Windows PC to format it to this. Otherwise, you would have to watch a video on how to download that software for the Mac to be able to format the disk into this drive. But to make it simple, just format it using a Windows PC. You can use the disk just for, you know, your Xbox gameplay recording, and you would be able to plug that into a Mac to transfer the video file to your computer for editing. So hope this video was helpful. Until next time, see you in the next video.